Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover what Trial Guardian Raid and Trial Abyss Dungeon is, and what rewards do they give. I heard that you guys will have this content this month, correct me if I'm wrong. And watching this video might help you to prepare on honing in the future. By the way, if you're interested in Glavier, Destroyer, Arcana, and Reaper, please hit the sub and follow my Twitch stream since you can get some info from me. Then let's get started. This is Trial Guardian Raid, and if you see here, you can see three different guardians on the line. So what this means is that every week, guys, every week, the guardian, the sequence of the guardians, the ro rotates. What I mean is that, for instance, uh, this week I have Tychalus, Valganus, and Chromania, right? Next week, what happens is that uh, the one on the top, Tychalus, will disappear, and all these two will, you know, uh, like come to the top, like one by one, which means next week, Valganus will be on the top, and Chromania will be on the second. And there will be this new guardian whom I don't know who he's gonna be on the bottom. So it rotates one by one for every week. By the way, trial means uh, it's equalized in Lost Ark when it comes to Lost Ark, which means you will have literally have all level one tripod, even though you you upgraded in the real you know game, you will you know cap your tripod into level one, and also. You can, you can benefit from the great engravings and the runes, but you cannot get benefit from gems and card set. They will do just zero, guys, in trial, uh, raid and trial abyss dungeon, and even yeah, even the you know what's this called the skins and all kind of stuff will not work as I know. Yeah, let's review the rewards. So, so by running all these three trial raid guys every week what you get is you get um this much amount of you know uh the the blue stone on uh, which 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 it matches your tier level and this much amount of the red stones guys and what else you get this much amount of leaf stone and uh, not this one you get uh uh, what should I say? It's a chest of a stone, guys. You can select which grade you want to open, but it doesn't mean that you can select like what kind of engravings that you want in the in the stone. The, the stone is random, but you can at least select the grade what you want. And the grade, like it it will be capped uh in your status. What I mean is that if you're if your level is not like you know under 14 15 then you cannot open for the relic ones guys you cannot open for relic ones and the legendary will be the the highest one for me i'm definitely over 14 15 right so i can open the the relic one which is the highest right now if you open it then um yeah now from here now it's random guys like this so nine random stones you get and you might get some gold right if the if the you know the combination is good and the next one and what we got is oh uh, we got three of this three of selectional um you know engraving it, it can be either class engraving or common engraving guys and if you see the grade it is selectional like you can choose uh if you want the blue ones, the blue one. If you want green ones, you can select blue one, the green ones. And also, all these you know engraving chests are also selectable. So it's like a guarantee um, engraving that you want. So for instance, if I um, pick, try to pick one. Let's open one of this. And here you can literally select one, guys. You see what I'm saying? It's all same for all those two grades and for all the common and class engravings. Yep. Next one. Okay, you get 18 of accessory chest, guys. 18. And this is also like the stones. Like you can select the grade, the grade what you want. But 
when you but inside that grade you cannot select the combination of the engraving on the accessory you want that is totally rng so for instance if you guys are like over 14 15 you guys might get uh, might have the access to the relic ones if not then the legendary for me i'm over like 1500 something like so you, you see the ancient the, the white one right so i'm gonna open the ancient one and of course i'm gonna open all as an ancient like this and from here now it's random guys it's not selectional guys from here now everything's random so since everything's random just go for it yep like this then you get like all these shits guys and last one this one guys it gives you six powders guys six powders for the uh, tripod transfer and also um you might be like curious like if whether you can run this uh raid trial raid for all characters right no it is roster bounded like if you if you run any one of the character from your roster then that's just it for a week so for me i just did that three guardians right three trial guardians and that's just over for this week yeah that's what it is this is abyss dungeon right here the trial the trial abyss dungeon that you guys will have uh you know in this month right um if you see here you can see two different dungeons and it's yeah pretty sure that it's from yorn right well this dungeon these two dungeons changes every two weeks guys every two weeks like it's like this for instance if today is the first week of having yorn dungeons then after two weeks it will turn into a, a vern the vern abyss dungeon guys the the two of those vern abyss dungeon and after another two week it will turn into uh two of the bro shaja dungeons guys in in rohandel that those two abyss dungeons and after another two weeks it's gonna come back here to yorn so it's like it changes every two weeks and it has three rotations so this is the the total reward of doing weekly trial abyss dungeons guys weekly trial abyss dungeon for two times for two dungeons first you can get 10 10 of um the this what, what's this called like i mean it's a random pack guys but you can select like which kind of category that you want to go for like for instance uh you can see like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine uh, nine kinds of packs right so you can select the kind but once you select it the the cards that will come out from that pack is random you see what i'm saying and each kind of card pack has their own you know exclusive um what should i say exclude exclusive uh some certain amount of card packs so for instance if you click here then you can select the kind the kind you want so you do have to know which kind of cars are in with the specific like uh you know criteria of the card pack for me for instance i want to get the soulless guys the soulless right here uh where where is it yeah this guy right here i need three more soulless to hit the fifth the five awakening and soulless it comes out from this card pack so this is how it works guys if you understood like spam noted so this is the one i want to go for for all 10 so i want to open up for all these and then what happens from here now it's random it's complete rng so if you see here here's the, the scope from some heroic cars all the way to some rarity and some green cars as well and some um white cards as well well if you see here here's the solace guys here's the solace that i want but you can see that there's so many kinds of cards that can be come out right so well there's no choice but to you know open so if i open like this then um i don't get any solace yep that's the life and you and then you also can get two of legendary uh, experience card and four a uh, purple experience card what else you can get six of a uh, selectional shard chest guys this one gives you a tier two 
while this one gives you a tier 3. And you also get selectional uh, sub material, sub material uh, chest. This one gives you, uh, if you see here, this one gives 10, right? And each of the chests says it gives you 5 of that uh, sub material. Where, whereas this one just gives one chest with, you know, all those 1 and 3 and 6 uh, sub mats for tier 3. And next one. This one gives you the destruction stones, guys, the red stones, tier two and tier three. Well, so this is the so these two are the ones that you're gonna face because this one is the one that only KR has, yeah. And the next one will be obviously the protection stone, the blue ones, tier two, tier three, yes. And last one, they give you leap stone as well. Well, you guys just have to see it from here to here. Uh, this is tier two. Uh, tier 3, the the initial tier 3, the early tier 3, and this is like in the Argos, right? The middle tier 3, where you guys will most likely most likely be in. Guys, did any of you guys notice something between the, like, some difference between the tier 2 and tier 3? You can see that when it comes to tier 2, they give you a lot. But if you try to go for tier 3, they're like they just give you like less you see what i'm saying so well if you need tier 3 then uh go for tier 3 because by the way guys all these chests are like roster shareable you see what i'm saying so you can literally put these things into your roster here like this roster storage and then you can put it out uh from the character that you want to use yes it's viable so so if you see here tier 2 gives you 6 times 1500, what is that? Quick math, 9k, right? While this one just gives you a 1500 for tier 3. And it's not the same for like others. Like you, if you see here, you get like 50. If you literally go for all for tier 2, you get 50 of that self mat. Whereas you get only like these much uh, for tier 3. And also for destruction stones, tier 2 gives you... 500 of the tier 2 stones but if you go for this one it gives you a hundred and what else this one gives you 500 of pro the blue stones while this one gives you 100 well technically it's kind of same right because you can um ex exchange the tier 2 you know tier 2 blue stone and red stone to tier 3 uh, in a proportion of 5 to 1, right? So technically, like, uh, going for either one is same. But, yeah, anyways, the decision is up to you. And this one, Leapstone. Uh, if you can see here, guys. Um, so these one just give you, like, like, this one give you a 6. This one give you a 16. 8 times 2 is 16. And look at the tier 2 Leapstone, guys. 30 times 5. 150. So, so like... If you so by seeing all these stuff going on, you can understand that if you use these reward from the trial abyss dungeon on a tier two character, it's gonna be cost effective, guys. So most likely you wanna use it for the you know the the characters that are still in tier two. Well, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.